everybody, we're all having a good day. It's Wednesday, which means it's time for more Catch Brother, and we are still back with Apollo Justice is Attorney Trilogy. Last time we did the trial section of Tournament 78, at least the first part of it. And where La Mera are accused Deiran as the killer, but we're going to be investigating stuff. So, with that being said, let's get into Tournament Serenade. Oh, I accidentally hit that thing. So, what? This is the one we're in. All right, let's go. July 9th, 2 12 p.m. White, write anything in to see. Hey, hey, Apollo! What? Um, well, you know, um, actually, nothing. Yeah. I mean, something, or maybe not. Oh, with it! The suspense is giving me an, an ulcer. Well, you know, the child today has thinking. If you give me a score, what score would you give it? Four? Um, gee. I guess I would, um, or maybe, uh, well... Ah! I'm just as bad as you. See, it's so, so vague. Clearly. Machi for the guilty verdict, which is something. I can't say I'm any less confused about the kiss. I asked him to pull about that number. I'm sure you'll find their answer intriguing. IPXX314206. The agent even registered under this number. Let's run on Latrice. And there the Mr. Latrice. Who would guess he was actually an undercover Interpol agent? What a mess. You don't have any I mean you don't have any idea on what he was investigating. Well True, but we know who shot him now. Not me are told the whole court. Bit. That voice just now. It was him. I'm sure of it. That voice I heard talking to Mr. Tooth when I heard the gunfire sh gunshots fire. It was him. It was Mr. Dayron. Is there a mystery, Apollo? I love mysteries! I don't. Mysteries. What's Mr. Red up to? I wouldn't mind asking his opinion. Now you manage it, I haven't seen Daddy around. Well, is this some kind of stray that just wanders in and out of well? I wouldn't say that, but he's been going out a lot. Some top secret mission, he said. Top secret. Anyway, you can't just rely on him to see it today. I ain't got me to help you. We'll be fine. Fine. Right. Well, time to listen, as they say. Let's investigate. That's the spirit. I'm here to drop the bomb in court today. It was Dayron. I'm here to say she never forgotten the voice, right? That's so cool. Um, I guess. What's, it, what's that called again? Um, elephant ears? I bet that's what they're called. Somehow I don't think that's what you mean. I'm sorry, I don't think that means what you think it means. And she has to be wrong this time. Wrong? Why? I mean, look. Those gunshots were right during the concert. That's right. I was burning up the dance floor all the time. Right. Did you happen to look up on stage? Maybe a day round even? You bet I did. He was one of the Gavineer's guitars after all. He's so cool. Oh. Right. All the Gavineer's have a rock solid alibi. He couldn't have shot Mr. Two's backstage. But... Uh, Lamiar heard him, didn't she? You heard they ran backstage, right? Somebody's air wrong or live fireball in here. The Interpol agent. Hmm. 
I was wondering, what is Interpol anyway? Huh? Interpol? They're the guys who catch international criminals. Why can't they just call them international police instead of making up some silly name? Yeah. Anyway, you think he was investigating La Mirar? What? Why would anyone do that? Yeah. But she's not a criminal. She couldn't be. Don't be fooled by appearances, is all I'm saying. Remember, I'm a magician, Apollo. I can spot a palm's coin at 50 pieces. It won't even that easy. And I guess. No, he was working on something. I wonder if it was something that. Ha yeah, sorry. I wonder if it was something that has something to do with something. That's something being a kiss. The last something, I mean. Something like that. Frankly, the whole thing is making my head hurt. What was Mr. Zeus up to? <laughs> Um, Jesus? Was that another one of your tricks? It wasn't me! I can't even make Mr. Hat laugh. Laugh like that. Magician Jump Scar! Wherever the mundane gives way to miracles, the wor a word is whispered. Grammary! Hey, the other day! He. We start. We didn't just imagine that, did we? This word is so hot. With yours? Hardly. Even again. Uh, um, nice to meet you. Who are you? Did you please stop smirking like that? Uh, ah, uh, it's you! Uncle Falland! Uncle Falland? He's your uncle? No, silly. It's the Great Grammary. Balanced Grammary. The Grand Magician. This is I, the Great Balanced Grammary. I see on television. Could you please stop smirking like that? It's been a while, Miss Trucy. Seven years to be a sect. Hi, hi, you've grown. Good to see you again, Uncle Valent. You look exactly the same. Um, I hate the intrude, but what is this? What is a great magician doing paying us a visit? I believe it was you who wished to see me. So be quick with your question. I do not quarrel, quick or quibble. I am quite teen. Though my star stardom may sear the sight, I am quite down to earth who needs calls when he calls. It does have a certain horror in Miss True. Let's ask him about the case, Apollo. His aura sure isn't lost on our magician in the making. It's practically drooling from enthusiasm. After all, Uncle Fallon's one of Daddy's best friends. That's why I call him Uncle. Uh, what? Daddy? You mean this to right? No, I mean... My real Daddy. Is he no father? He is not. Mr. Charlie, the pilot plant. Huh? His leaves are looking a little burned. Good morning, Mr. Charlie! Ah! Mr. Charlie! Your leaves! Maybe you weren't giving him enough water? No, oh, no, he must be stressed. He's worried about the new recruit at the office. Hey, don't blame me, and on me. You are watering him, right? It was Daddy's turn to water him this week. Mr. Wright has been away on his top secret mission, no? I'm sorry, Mr. Charlie. This is all, is this, this is all my fault. Oh, are you saying? Promise. Well, how about some tea? Here you go. And thanks. That's nice. But this is not the time to be drinking tea. That's right, we have to get investigating. Ah, that was a close one. Almost relax. Just go, almost relax. There are several books of magic mixed in with the legal books on the shelf. I dust them recently. I have like the gleam of clean books. 
A, a strange split box leers from me at me from the wall. No matter how many times I see it out there, it still strikes me as odd. Really? I guess I've gotten used to it after growing up with it always around the house. What kind of home what kind of a home did you grow up in? I had in there when we were playing sorry when we played hide and seek. You just get in, slide the section rounds, and you're impossible to find. I bet you would be. That's one of those silk hats you can pull out. Pull things out, right? Of course! My hat's like like a little universe. Bigger on the inside than, than on the outside. That reminds me of a sci-fi show I used to watch. Incidentally, my pocket is a little universe too. And my panties. Um I get the idea. Oh. Alright, I'm still checking something. No. I got the idea. Why is your magic act coming along? Well, I've been working on my cup of balls routine. My cups and balls routine. Is that the one where the ball moves from under one cup to another? To the other? That's right! The very same! Here, watch! First I put the cup over the ball and then snap my finger. Ta-da! The ball's under the other cup. It's not there. Watch me pull something out of my magic panties! Nice try. Guess I know what I'll be doing tonight. Practicing! You could be my eyes, Apollo! Uh, Get a photograph showing one of the tr one of Trucy's favorite magicians. She talks to it daily for good luck, I hear. Ah! I almost forgot! Um, I hope I can become a grand a famous grand magician. Oh, I hope Apollo becomes a nice attorney. There, all done. Suppose you're going to talk to an inanimate objects. It really isn't so bad. I've seen some restaurants that sell a real food to show what's on the menu. I have too. I noticed something strange. One time, there was a sandwich without any lettuce. Like it had disappeared by magic. I'm sure someone just swiped the lettuce and ate it. Wait! That sandwich! You didn't! Apollo! You should need sample food! No matter how hungry you are! Just how hard! Up do you think I am? You know, that ring kind of gets in the way. Our clan the other day tripped on and fell on the floor. Sending my ring rolling at the door. You know how long it took me to find it? You know how long it took to calm down the clan? And in the end, they walked over hiring us. Do you clean up a bit? Don't you think the props give the office a festive, fun-filled mood? I'm not sure law of us have to be festive and fun-filled. Apollo! This is the right anything agency! Ah, uh, CEO! I want an office that says we know how to have fun! I guess it's a, it is a her. Uh, I guess it is our her office, isn't it? Okay, now we can talk. I said she presents something. Is this you would ask me for a miracle for free for free? And I wish me granted. That will be done. The evidence effective into the aether. Act no evidence affecting, please. Are all magicians like this? I wonder. I guess you just talk. Wait, Apollo! Don't tell me you don't know about the troop Grammarier? Grammarier? The troop A Grammarier, sorry? Troop A Gram. Um, huh? No. But it does sound kind of familiar. Oh, lost life! Lamentably listless lot! 
do not know the grit of the gritness trippe of magicians on the planet. Violent grammaring. The name begins began to surface in my mind. It was the name I heard on television as a child. You bet you've heard the name. He made a cure cruise ship disappear and blew up an amusement park. Oh, and he made all this gold disappear from the safe. And then escape from the I'm sorry, from a high security prison. Um You said he's a ma he is a magician. I open the locks to hearts chained by mediocrity. This is the true miracle of the true pay good armory. Wait. What, Apollo? I do remember. Seen you on television a long time ago. Weren't you with someone else? Like a do? A do? Yeah, you have a partner. Something grammary. Yes, Sack. Sack grammary. A master maker of magic, a capable crafter of shining sh showmanship. Why is everyone so quiet? Daddy. Daddy? Huh? Oh! No way! Once upon a time, a true pay grammar included two grand magicians. Myself, Valentine Grammary, and my partner, Sack Grammary. And this Sack was... He was my real daddy. Juicy's father. A magician. I guess it makes sense. I had no idea. There wasn't much point in talking about it. Not now that he's gone. Oh. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm not lonely. I've got my daddy after all. And you make me laugh, Apollo. Glad that I'm good for comic relief, at least. Not that I see daddy around much these days. Ah, I've been remiss in remembering my reasons for my visit. Reasons? Two, in fact. First being, of course. See you, Miss Trissy. You don't know how happy I am to see you again, Uncle Fallon. Uncle Fallon? I'm sure you are. Not one for modesty, are you? When I encountered you at the Coliseum? Sorry. The yeah, Coliseum. The first time in seven years? I could fin not contain my emotions. I whipped oceans. And to learn... You now defend that poor pianist, that blinded boy. This was a hot top pick of talk amongst the staff, you know. And defend him you did. <laughs> well, it wasn't all my doing. Um, I'm his defense attorney, actually. My other reason for coming here today was this. That's a videotape. Quite so, a recording of the concert, no less. I brought, I brought it for you, Trissy, on behalf of the Trippe Grammary. Will you watch it? I'm just gonna let this play.
Wow! It's almost as good as it was live! So, what's the word? Mysterious? There are more mystery, mysterious things than her song going on. Way more mysterious. <laughs> this found Grammarie has good reasons to be here today. But I wonder what his reasons were to be that con at that concert. You have a video tip received from Fallon. Ah, so I was so I was wondering. A stunt in the middle of the song there. I didn't see a stunt. What about Lame R Fallen Sheen and reappearing? Oh that? I guess I'm so used to seeing that that happened I didn't even notice. I'm so young to be so cheated. A simple slave hands. A petite pe person person in ignition. Forget a meteor a macorum of magic from me to you. So that's why you were at the concert. Yes. I was starting to watch my trick take to the air. So you're the one who know knows how I was all done. Of course! I'm like a deity! But but, but the stage is my domain. I suffer no man stray upon those, those floodlit boards and sorry, not grasped twiddly twixt my fingers. It is a potent from primitive, eh, primeval, eh, primitive, primal, primal, primal power. It says, "Why am I having troubles reading?" Um. Well, do you think you could tell me how it was done? Hey, night, Trissy. That's like totally against the rules, Apollo. Not during a murder investigation, is not. Mas not, for my illusions are mine alone, monsieur. Also... Also what? Recall that the terrible occurrence happened later. Well after my illusion entrance entranced the audience. Oh. Don't even ask, I won't answer. Too bad for you, Apollo. Urgh. You said yawn. I found the armory. Now I make my leave, Miss Trissy. There's no need to rush, Uncle Valent. You should stay for a while. You should stay a while. I'm afraid I cannot. I may not. I shall not. I have been asked to assist with the analysis, and so I shall sink back into the scene. Sleep back into the scene. To the scene. So you'll be at the concert venue today. Correct. You call on me. Come to the call scene. See you later, crocodile. A word of his cloak and a wink of his eye. He turned and walked out through the door. Normally. Well, there you go, Apollo. Let's get cracking. Right. Alan Grammary. I've got a few more things to ask him. Foremost among things, that bit of magic that made Lamiar disappear. And how do you know it was Tracy and her real father? This again, that again. You sure like your attorney's badge. Still, I'm afraid our clients aren't our clients are getting tired of it. Well I'm not. So there. I'm sure about that, so I was ripping ripping up the dance floor at the time of the shooting after all. Let's just say. Nope. Let's move. July 9th, detention center physical room. Machi may not be guilty, but he's still a suspect. They don't have any decisive evidence! Yeah, but only someone as small as him could have gotten out of that room. Right, he are friend. And he lied. Lied? Machi took a handsy. Ah, Machi! Speak of the devil. He looks like he's doing okay. I forgot. Why did we come here? It's not like we can talk to him or anything. Words are overrated. 
Feelings are what matters, Apollo. It's kind of hard to build a court case on feelings. But since we're here, anyway, I might as well get what I want to say up my chest. I need someone to complain to. I'll listen. I think she's actually worried for me. So, what did she think of the child today? Oof, I'm glad he doesn't understand English after all. If he did, he would have been scared of his mind by that trial. Hey! All's well that ends well. You have to be more goal oriented. If he's innocent, we win. No, if he's found not guilty, we win. Machi might not understand English, but I bet he gets that better than you do. Huh? I'm glad Lam Lamiara testified. What a great person! She even got Machi off the hook by naming another suspect. They ran at the Gavineers, the detective. I wonder if Machi knows what happened. I mean, if he could follow Hack, then the trial went, you know, at all. If no one told him there's a new suspect, how would he know? Hey! What is it, Apollo? No, it's nothing. Must be imagining it. Imagining what, Apollo? It's just... I couldn't help but feel that... I don't know. Machi... He doesn't understand what we're saying, right? How could he? He's a young bo Bulgarian. He doesn't speak English. Yeah, my bracelet is reacting to him. Huh? Maybe it's malfunctioning. But we're scared. Because you keep making those I'm so mad faces. Was I that bad? Machi lied about not being able to see. But what if that's not all he lied about? If you're curious about it, there's only one thing to do. You should ask him. I think it'll take something big to get him. Some kind of undeniable evidence. We'll be back, Machi. So, Machi, you can see, right? Machi can see and Lamiara can't. The whole world's gone topsy-turvy. Sorry, Apollo. I don't think we're going to get any information out of Machi. Which makes sense. Yeah, I guess it does. I think he said... I'm sorry I cannot speak your language. You're very beautiful, Fair Maiden. This is why I never trusted, trust a translator. Guess we'll leave. We'll head to the Sunshine Coliseum. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Oh, okay. Wow, what a great day! A perfect weather for sleeping. The weather matters for an investigation. Don't some days just feel like magic days or defense days? Um, sure. Let's get started, shall we? Right on! Show us your stuff, Apollo! Um, what stuff? Your voice training! This is the perfect place for it! I did enough at home, thanks. Aww. There's no need to be shy. Keep that up and you'll never make it on the big stage! I'm happy in the courtroom, thank you. I am a lawyer. And you're in luck! Because it's lawyer's weather today. Don't you just want to face the sky, the blue sky and shout OBJECTION? Look, the weather has nothing to do with lawyers. Let's get going already. Sunshine Coliseum sure is living up to its name today. It's huge! And Mr. Galvin got to play on the enormous, on that enormous stage. I'm so jealous. Someday, I'll fight my first battle on this stage. Battle? Well, yeah. It's a Coliseum, isn't it? Um, they don't do gla gladiatorial contests at these places anymore, Trucy. Really? I have no idea. I wonder why they stopped. 
Sometimes I worry about her. Look, a massive sign for the guilty is charged to her. A giant prosecutor Galvin stirs out over the arena. Ooh, maybe I can take it to the office when it's done with, when they're done with it. Okay, um, where would you put it? Couldn't even get that frame for the front door. And I'll put it outside. I probably be good for business. Just as long as no one comes suspecting us to prosecute. Well, if anyone comes looking for a concert, leave it to me. Is this the part of some twisted plan of hers to make her singing debut? I wonder. Look, a blimp! Those balloons next to it have sponsored ads on them. Let's see. Big sale, all shirts 50% off. Oh, it's an app for the department store next door. What's that? Richard there. Oh, that's the police mascot. The blue badger. Eh? It's life size. Haven't you seen them around town? Patrolling the streets? Yes, not even Law and Order has a mascot. I'd run for that thing even if I wasn't a criminal. Why does his head wobble like that when it walks? It's freaky. I don't think you're showing the true blue... Eh, I don't think you're showing true blue about your spirit, Apollo. I think we're done here. Yes, we are. July 9th, backstage hallway. Ah, Mr. Attorney. La Mayor! I'm sorry about today. I... There is nothing you need to apologize for. You are merely defending Machi. Um, are you okay? Alone, I mean? Humans are blessed with five senses. Even robbed of one, we get back. So it does make being a witness rather difficult. Speaking of seeing, you knew who we were before we spotted you just now. And we weren't even talking. I heard your footsteps several times the day before. Oh! You must have great ears! Ears that hear the, the crap. Ears that hear the crime taking place. Or so she claimed yesterday. Nigh. That was quite a statement you made in today in court. About hearing Dayron present in his voice at the, at the scene of the crime. I do not know its name. Sorry, I did not know its name. And I never forget a voice. Wait. La Mirror! Is something the matter? That voice just nigh. It puts him. I'm sure of it. No way! As I said in court, I was on my way backstage from the stage. That was when I heard his voice. I'm guessing Dara and Mr. Latus were talking about something. The next moment, I heard those gunshots. Why didn't you call security? To be honest, the noise was quite frightening. I never imagined the gunshots might be real. And I was in quite a hurry myself. I left the scene at once. So, it really was Dayran's voice that she heard. Yeah. At least she certainly thinks it was. I met Machi before my debut as La Mirar. I was singing in a restaurant in Bogana, Bogania. And he was playing the piano? Yes. He was very kind to me when I learned he sorry when he learned I could not see. Is that when you start playing opposites? When Machi pretended he couldn't see. Ah, uh, no, it wasn't then. That began after our major debut. After I became known as the landscape painter of sound. It must have been tough for Machi. Pretending he couldn't see and all the while acting as your eyes. We held hands always. He would write his thing. 
nurse on my palm to signal to me things I should know. He was he is a smart, gentle boy. I can see what she's getting on. Machi would never harm a soul. I play Mr. Latus. Ah uh, yes, he was an Interpol agent, I hear. So you had no idea? Of course not. No one then. I guess that's what it means to be undercover. But someone was after him. They had to know who he really was. Why did he pose as my manager? I do not understand. You have no idea? I can only assume that he was investigating me. But why? What makes you think that? Perhaps it is not so, but I cannot deny the possibility because of my condition. As my present is veiled in darkness, so too is my past clouded from memory. Clouded, right. Let's examine this head. That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. It's small. Maybe no one's noticed it. I kind of want to pick it up. It'd make a cool souvenir, don't you think? It does stick out of my mind for some reason. In my mind for some reason. That would be the blue badger, the police mascot. There's a guy outside in a giant blue badger costume lumbering about. He's standing out even more than those Gavin posters. It's all the same. He's the bound mascot too, you know. I can't picture Patrick or Gavin going for that kind of thing. Neither can I. I bet there's a story that are just waiting to be told. I'm thirsty, Apollo. Want something to drink? Hmm, how about this one? I steal samurai soda. I am real samurai flavor. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Here, my tree. Hey, this isn't enough change. The machine outside the machines outside are cheaper. This one's highway robbery. Looks like an instrument kiss. A big instrument kiss. There's a great magician trick you can do with one of these. Huh? What kind? The miraculous, beautiful girl escapes the kiss illusion. So, it's the girl who who's miraculous, not the escape. So picky. We'll just do this. The darkness that I fear is not the darkness that I see whenever I, whenever I open my eyes. The real darkness lies in my heart. In your heart? I have no memory of the time before I came La Mirar. I woke from darkness into darkness, you might say. I was singing in a restaurant those days. What was it that you said about not being able to remember the light? I do not know my past. Perhaps I committed some terrible crime in my past. Everything before becoming La Mirar is lost to me. But I don't think you... I can think of no other explanation. Why else would an agent of Interpol approach me? You think your past might be related to the ki this kiss? No way! That seems really unlikely to me. I mean, you're such a sweet person, La Mirar. I thank you, Machi. You too. Tells me this often when I fear I might, who I might have been. We took a look at your performance again. It was even better the second time. Thank you. That reminds me. There was an that was an incredible illusion you pulled off. An illusion. When you teleport from one stage to the other, remember? Ah, yes. Apparently, they hired a professional magician. Balance grammar. I was wondering, you think you could tell us how it was done? I'm afraid I cannot. Mr. Grammar made me swear to never tell us so. I was afraid of that. Hard to be, sorry, hard to be a magician if you can't keep a secret, you know. Ah, I am reminded that I wish to talk to you about something. Yes? When I was walking this hallway before, I stumbled upon a small device of some kind. It was lying on the floor. 
Nice. Maybe you mean this? That's been lying there since the day before yesterday. Might I touch it? I thought as much. One. What do you think? This is one of our headsets. Everyone on staff wears one during the co a concert. I wonder who this is. We use it for communication. It would be quite inconvenient to it go missing. We'll hold on to it for you then. We'll give it to Prosecutor Gavin when we see him. Yes, that's the that's best. Thank you. So can I put it on? Is that attached to Jersey? Attached? I'm not some kind of robot, Apollo. Everyone on staff was wearing one of these headsets. This might warrant some further inquiry. Head forward, that little buddy. This is Tracy reporting in. Over. Why is this? Why the sudden silence? No one answered. Don't be silly. What good is a receiver that doesn't receive? That's like Emma not performing forensics investigations. Matt, you make her so nice she's some kind of forensic investigation machine. Which is just silly. Unless he's a super high-tech android that runs on snackaroos. Hmm. Can I ask you about this headset, Lamriar? You said that all concert staffs were wearing one. That's correct. You need them to communicate across such a large stage. Everyone on the staff have one, of course. And all the band members too, as you think. So Prescott Gavin and his lackeys had them on too, huh, then. They're quite helpful, though limited. They only work within 30 feet or so. After all, they're only used. Sorry, they're only for use on stage, and a stronger signal would interfere with the sound system. Hmm, that makes sense. I think someone would notice if they dropped their only communications lifeline. So why was this one lying here? Let's move here. Speaker here is the same one as as, uh, as the one in La Mirage room. I wonder if this one was blaring as loud as hers. I don't see a volume control anywhere in the room. My guess is they can give all the rooms equal treatment. You mean equal punishment? A police uniform hangs on the stand here. Ooh, I want to try it on! If you see here, move along. It's okay. You don't have to go that far to be special. I mean, you're not exactly the type who's just on her face in the crowd. Really? You think so? Hmm, I guess you're right. Now I feel like a meanie for making that insinuation. That guitar! That's the legendary AA400! The Red Badger! I thought Rock was supposed to be rebellious, not Civic. Alright. Every, every, every aspiring guitarist wants one of these. They even paint their own guitars to look like it. Ah, the flickers of youth. You should dye your hair about your red too. I like my hair the way it is. Thank you very much. I like the summers of age. I think this is all the same, so we don't need the shadow with steps here. Let's check Lummy Archer's room. Event July 9th, let me our dressing room. Munch, 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 munch. Uh oh. There's only one person I know who can munch with such venom. What are you doing here? Hello, Emma. You're looking as grumpy as ever. Oh, am I supposed to be happy? You give me the second degree. Be, be in court. I'm Prosecutor Gavin, makes me, makes me look like a fool. You're talking about the blood stain of Mr. Who's that Mr. Ah, the blood stain of Mr. Who's left. My department chief had 
Field day with that one. Even a blind person could see this cheater wasn't blind. Funny guy, huh? But that blood didn't help uncover the biggest mystery of all. We now know that Mr. Latouse was really in with Interpol. We wouldn't have found that out without you. I suppose. Maybe that's why the chief gave me these after he was finished trimming me out. Said it was my reward. Are, are chocolate snackaroos popular down at the pink or something? Punch, 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 punch. I was hoping we could check out the crime scene again. Be my guest. You're not going to find any clues in here. But I did find something strange. Something strange? Who's on this? Something here. A speaker for monitoring the stage. It was blaring at the time of the shooting. It's a pretty old model for such a nice place. I guess I don't care about sound quality back here. As long as you can hear it. Not that the loss of fidelity could possibly make them, that music worse. These speakers must cost a lot. You have any idea how much a nice one in that size would cost, Apollo? Probably a good 10 years of your allowance. Give or take. What? But that's almost $600! $5 a month? Poor Trucy. What does she find? Inside, you need to buy two speakers for a stereo. Right after the shooting this took place, Lamiar tried to come in the dressing room and try to approach. I think that fits the other stuff we know. Do you think the timing of when she dropped it is important? Yeah, something about bug. About, uh, something about bugs me. That's for sure. All right. That's the earth with Master Machi Tobias fingerprints. All right. What's with the front? The front. Kind of girl fern anymore? Is this a crime? Ah, of course not. I just mean. Okay, Machi Tobai's fingerprints are on the are on the air fan. Why would his fingerprints be there if he wasn't the shooter? That's not the question I want to have on to have, eh, have to answer in court. Hey, what those wipe that fern off your face? One second of per crime scene, please. I guess girls can throw him, but the fans can't. Alright. The shooter must have used that to claim of the vent. All this tragedy because someone left a step ladder here. I don't think Mr. Latouche was shot because of the ladder. You think it was Machi? I guess. That earth is pretty small after all. Does that prove he was at the scene? Did he escape in time in the time between the gunshot and us opening the door? I met my embarrassment quota for the year, that's for sure. Well, that's good. That's a good thing, isn't it? Um, hi? I mean, think about it. Now you don't have to be embarrassed by anything else this year. If, if only it worked that way. It just bugs me to think that that little kid outsmarted me. And it makes me even more suspicious now that we know he can see. He could have seen the earth duck, and he could have shot that revolver. But that's not how it sounded in La Mayor's testimony. You mean her saying that she heard the Detective Deran's voice at the scene? Hmm. That's right! Why can't we have a normal, straightforward killing once in a while in this country? I pretend, I'll pretend I didn't hear that. Was that... Sorry, was that true what you said in court today? You know, about the case? About how everything was happening according to those song lyrics? The guitar serenade, you mean? I found the link, you know! First, Prescott Gavin's heart-shaped key ring was stolen. Then Lamar flew for the air. 
The Empire's Guard got his guitar caught on fire. And in the end, a bullet took Mr. Latusa's life. And he went up into the sky with a guitar. Well, 15 feet up at least. It is kind of hard to chalk it up to coincidence. Hmm. I know! And I find it! You think the same person did all this? Of this? Don't ask me. I didn't do it. Neither did I. I couldn't fit for that earth end anyway. What? You don't think I did it? Sometimes I worry about that, Carl. So, what did you find? It's so little, I must have passed over it yesterday. I find this under the sofa. What is it? Part of some device, I think. I haven't a clue what. The bit sticking out right from the end looked familiar, so I had a salmon. Turns out it's an antenna. Ooh! Like on a beetle! Like on a cell phone. This device must use an electronic signal of some sort. An electronic signal, you say? Hmm. I think that you can take a look at this, Emma. Emma? Red tune is increasing. I back off before it's too late. Oh. You know, you've been you're bad like Mr. Wright. He always carries his botch around too. Huh? I think he did. And so he never forget who he was. Or his duty as a defender. Something like that. Pretty noble, really. I guess there really isn't a need for me to carry this around. It would seem to have made a decent impression. Why did they have to commit the, their crime according to the song? It seems like it'd be more trouble than it's worth. Maybe they were trying to throw off the investigation. That's certainly possible. But risky, don't you think? Just carrying some when as big as one of the would be tough enough. Maybe a snacking fiend, but sometimes she actually makes some sense. Eric. That's an Interpol issued revolver, right? Which means it belongs to Mr. Latouse. He must have had, had he must have had it to begin with. Sounds like that sounds that way. So if it was Machi. Are we saying Machi stole from Mr. Latouse? Aye, that's really hard to imagine him doing. Look, it's fruit! Fruit, Apollo! Fruit! I hear you. I heard you the first time. I'm sure, it sure is a lot of fruit. I, I won't miss a bit of watermelon. I know. I'll make a finish into my stomach. Better not. It might make you pay for it. And if you have the money for that, you should probably repay, repaint the office first. Watermelons aren't, aren't that expensive? <laughs> This could have been important for some exotic locals, for all we know. Oh, those could be important from some. Uh. Look, the carpet's been torn up here. That's the part we did luminal test, the luminal testing on court. Looney Mall. What's Looney Mall? It's luminal. Get it right. And it's kind of scary when it comes to science. Let's learn the word non off again. I think there's much we can really do. Let's check other places. You never really got the full, full, full exam on the stage last time, so let's swing there. July 9th, in the wings. That song! Isn't that the one La Mayor was singing? Yeah, you're right. The guitar serenade. Wow, I love to do a so on, 
on a stage like this. I come to see that. The house is full. And it's one the audience sing sings with wonderment. There I am, singing my ballet, Rose Pals swearing for the air. Not bad. Wait, aren't you a magician? Oh! That's right. I was a magician, wasn't I? Some dedication. Aha! If it isn't Miss Trissy and the date it is, Magician Jumpscare! Uncle Fallon! What exactly are you doing here? I take real responsibility in tasks undertaking. I am inspecting my equipment of illusions to make sure not is amiss. The Lamiar Teleportation Illusion! Ooh! Should anything go wrong, it will reflect poorly upon me and my troupe. As I went about my exciting examination, I happened to notice that piano. And I remembered that Fair Lady's Magellan melody. Hey, Apollo! Maybe Uncle Fallon can share some light on this whole thing for us. I was wondering about the show The Night of the Murder. Lami R. Spongenac was your illusion, right? Indeed, the purple prosecutor petitioned my performance. At the climax of the song, he said, make her disappear like a dream. Oh, like a dream? Yet... What can I work with on the stage meant for musical endeavors? There are none of convenience of a stage built for serious act. It was a challenge task, challenging task, so I accept it. And so I accept it. She disappeared from the top of the tower, but in order to move, you would have used some sort of secret tunnel. People come to me because I am a professional among the professionals. My illusions are custom made for our time and place. And the place. Now, because of the murder, all lies of the nation are on this concert. Not a bad thing, as far as the fortunes of Troupe Grammarie are concerned. So, you were here checking up on your trick to make sure it went well? And went well it did! Now, nice. speaking of pianos... That piano over there troubles me. It troubles you? Why? Why? Why do you ask why? I think it's probably quicker if I just go check it out myself. Thanks. That's one big piano! I've never actually played one! Heh, <laughs> we should get Mr. Wright to teach you sometime. No good, he can't play either. I kinda feel bad for the guy now. Maybe it's nice my big chance. Stomp back! This could be the big beautiful prophecy. Yeah. Did you make that noise just now? Um, let me try it again. No, I think something's stuck at the piano. Can I take a look under the hood? Huh? Look! This was stuck between the strings. It looks like some kind of switch. Someone must have thrown this into the piano. Switch pit place in pocket. The switch sitting here, tempting me to push it. Don't. It might blow up the whole Coliseum. Apollo, please. I think that every strange switch triggers a bomb. That kind of old-fashioned crime drama thinking doesn't cut it in our busy times. All right, Trissy P.I., please enlighten me. 
What do you think the switch does? Hmm. Maybe it turns on the electric razor in Professor Gavin's dressing room. A switch as big as a razor to turn on a razor. Okay. Alright, I still can't believe he found Machi and Mr. Latus up on the top of that tower. Yeah, I'm used to, I'm used to not like high places. I hit them. Right. It's not... It's not like it would have been nicer if he found a dead body closer to the ground. No, so that reminds me. That is Bob of Heights too. Huh? No kidding. He took me on the first for a ride radical, you know. How about for his face got all greeny mumbled objection over and over? Poor guy. That's the ladder we used to climb up the stage tower. Not a moment I'm likely to forget anytime soon. Me neither. I'll never be able to climb another tower again without thinking about it, you know. I'll never be able to climb a tower again. Period. Look at all this electronics. They must be sermon related. Doesn't seeing a bunch of machines like this make you wonder what to fail with him? Can I, Apollo, please? No, no filling. You'll break something. If you're going to make an omelet, you gotta break a few some eggs. That's what Daddy always says. These eggs are kind of expensive. Now that's a big instrument case. That's the case for the contraboss, I think. Or contraboss. You could fit 20 violins in there, Pat. It may look like a violin, but it's a completely different instrument. You could fit five truces in there, Pat. Hey! Are you comparing me to an instrument? Hmm. I wonder if he left a sitting open like that. But we should probably talk. I know what you're you're faking in that head of yours. Grammarie, yes, you say. I recall seeing him on television. Something of that sort. Um, actually, yes, you're right. Wow, he just read your mind, Apollo. Or everyone tells him that, and he makes a good guess. It was 20 years ago, a young magician, a genius of his time, came down amongst us. Among us. His name was Mag Magnifi Grammarie. It was he who began the great Troupe Grammarie. At his prime, not a day passed that he did not play upon the screen of every TV there was. Do you have a vague memory of something like that on TV? Yet, several years ago, that time came to an end. My trope pulled a punishing act, yes? Cries from magic no longer heard. TV screen a barren waste. Stripped of illusion. That's not true. I still went to all your shows. Like that one in the parking. You not down at the supermarket. When you start playing in supermarket parking lots, you know you're in trouble. We honed our skills at these small venues, always waiting our time. Awaiting our time. Yes, one day we'll rise up from obscurity, atop onto fame's shining stage once more. I do this not only for the magic that discovery, but for my partner. Your partner? You mean? Yes, Sack Grammarie. Trishy's father. Before he disappeared seven years ago, there was no bigger no name higher than the Grammarie show business circle. None. I will see his return to glory. I, Valent Grammarie. Our founder, Mat Matipi Grammarie, was truly a genius. A worker of miracles. 
I'll never forget the when I saw when I was little. How you made that whole jump jack go? Um, what happened to the jump jack to the jet again? Apparently, someone doesn't remember it as well as they thought. Of all the would-be magicians who came to his door, only Sack and I had talent. Had the talent. In no time at all, Fallon and Sack were the shining stars in the Grammarie crown. Cool, huh? And Sack Grammy was my daddy. Now that Magic and Sack are gone, I have but one wish. Let it be I, Fallon Grammary, who brings the Grammary miracle back to the big stage. I'm ready for you. Miss Trucy, you cannot grow up quick enough. I need your skills, but your skill by my side. One skill coming up. How do we manage to get off the topic of the case so quickly all the time? We're trying to stress my shock and charge. All I can see before me is this stage and me upon it. Nothing smaller, nothing less free than catches my eye. True. You're getting on. You're getting on in years. Not much time left to make your mark, huh? That is not high. We'll see it. So he doesn't care about what I have to show him. I get the point. Oh. Yeah, we've had this conversation already. Wait, oh no, come on, you're just. Oh, sorry. So we. T so we tell us it's against. It's against all that is sacred to inquire. It's okay. You can tell me how it's on. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's talk the ammo. I've said this. Do you think you could take a look at this? Hmm, a small device. Looks like a transmitter. A transmitter? You press the switch here and it sends out a signal. No idea what it's for, though. Signal? You mean an electronic signal? Okay, what is it, Apollo? Okay, say, Anna, you know what? You know that strange object you said you found? Oh, it is? Let's sh let me try pressing the switch. Ouch! It's on fire! Emma! Emma's the face is on fire! What's the big idea? Arg! Well, now we know what this is. An igniter. This part here must work like a lighter. It nearly ate me up, that's for sure. Hey, don't look at me like that. I didn't do it on purpose. I suppose. At least we're getting somewhere with this kiss. Hey, Apollo! Let's ask Emma about more about the switch. Now that she has some first time experience. What are you trying to do? Burn me alive? Sorry. I can think it. Come on, it was, just, it was just a few sparks. Say, say, she, you weren't the one holding it. 
There's enough sparks flying right in here. Here just with you two talking. Anyway. Now we know this is a remote for an igniter. Let me see that for a sec. Well. Well, this is definitely a little transmitter. The signal's weak. Probably only reaches 30 feet. A transmitter, huh? Remote trigger updated in the callback cord. Fairness needs triggers and igniter within 30 feet. I can't figure that. Incidentally, if you look at the cross-section diagram of the stage area... Let's see, 30 feet would be Lamiar's dressing room. That covers the back stage completely! It also looks like it would cover the stage. It kind of seems unlikely anyone would use this on stage. Form diagram out of the core record. Cross section diagram of the Sunshine Colossi. Guess I. I best be getting over my investigation. We're we'll to look more clues as well then. I feel better just knowing what this, what this it thing is now. I have to look into the igniter a bit more later. Good luck! I'd like to know a bit more about igniter. There's myself. Igniter spin also out of the cork. Found to the crime scene. Emits a flame when triggered by remote control. With these little parts, it's pretty complex. Also, all these little parts, pretty complex. I'm guessing this is where the fire comes out. Other than that. Good thing machines run even... And if you don't know how they work, that's what Daddy always says. Not really a saying you want to go around repeating, Tracy. I don't think we can do anything else here. But we do have a lot of stuff. Let's go talk to. Let's go back a little. July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Whoa! Come to laugh at the murderer. They run! That old bag opened her pie hole. And wham, bam, and I could stand to shoot. Thanks. Thanks. Then will let me work while I'm a suspect. They run this in, in the best of moons, is he? Not many people are these days, it seems. It's a crime scene. Not exactly the happiest place to hang out. Then Gavin had to go rub salt in the wound. My alibi was rock solid. Rock solid! So, about your alibi, you have to ask. The shooter thing happened right in the middle of the first set. Alright, um, that's right. The music was blaring when we heard the gun those gunshots. And I found the was who's dead. I've got 10,000 witnesses who saw me too. Right there on that stage. Your guitar playing was something else. Thanks, little lady. See? It's so big to sham. I can't believe they aren't letting me work. There's no need to yell at me. It's not my fault. So she was, she was the one who said she heard his voice at the moment of the crime. Man, I, I never... I never even talked to that old windbag. How could you possibly identify me? Um, they won't let you work? He won't let me work. Gavin says I gotta lay low till the suspicions is, is clear. What suspicions? He can be such a stick in the mud. Is it Gavin? A stick in the mud? He may look all flashy and snowy, but he's straight as an arrow, man. Except when he's suppressed. You heard him whining the other day. Oh, you mean the thing with the mixing board? And then there was that performance just now. What was that all about? His part is off. Which is that, hmm? Second guitar? Ah! 
Yeah, but sure, Dayron. He's just a perfectionist, is all. Not a bad guy, really. Well, I think they got the answer the best. I have all your albums. The bond's fine, too. That one can write good, too. No, I'll give him none. Come to think of it, I haven't seen Prosecutor Gavin around much. Oh, him? He's down to the prosecutor's office, most likely. The prosecutor's office? I've never been there, have I? The date of the victim on the victim should have come in from Interpol. Normally, I'd be down there dealing with it. Normally. Apollo, let's go check it out. I always wanted to see the prosecutor's office. Hmm. Maybe that's not such a bad idea. Right on! Say hi from you, okay? Oh, and screw you. And tell my... Um, I want into that crime scene. Um, where we going now? Hey, wait. Yes? What do you really think happened? Really? You don't think I did it, right? Well... Great. We didn't steal a guy with some confidence. Just remember, I was ripping it up on the stage when it happened, okay? Ripping. Don't get led astray by some siren song, eh? Get this one wrong and you'll be eating humble pie for a year. I'll bake it myself. Let's not talk too many more, all right? Detective Daron Crescent. He's one stone I'll leave unturned, and if I had a choice. Let's go to the uh, and solve. July 9th, Prosecutor Gavin's office. So, this is it. The Governor's head office. It's not a bad office. It's the prosecutor's office. Not the bad office. Sorry. Yeah, so that's why I am um, asking. What is this creepy thing? Object? Whatever. Looks like Prosecutor Gavin's on the phone. Oh well. I guess we'll have to come back. Or we can hide behind the, that bookshelf real quiet like. That's eavesdropping. Why? We're just waiting. Quietly. So you won't notice. What if we heard something scandalous about the bond? She'd make a good reporter. Or a gossip mag. What? A replica? So why is... So why was he after in the first place? Yeah? Latrice? Latrice? Look, don't talk to me about those Borgarians, okay? Just get me that report. Chop chop! And stop leaving mysterious objects in my office, okay? It's times like this when I start to miss their on. Huh? Uh, hiya. Hehe. <laughs> yes, Bobby, drop in. Hope you're not mad. How can I be? There's not enough teehees in the world in any case. Have a seat. Oscar Gavin, the philanthropist. Watch and learn, Apollo. So, who have you come to see? Huh? Cliver, Lee Pocalus, the Gavin Ears? Or Prosecutor Gavin, Scrooge to the Corpbroom? Scrooge to the Corpbroom, sorry. What do you think he means, Apollo? I think he's giving us a choice. Can I ask him about the concert or the kiss? Which way to go? Ah, that reminds me. Did you see the paper today? Yes! I always read the TV section. Good girl. How about you, head or forehead? I read the I read the funnies. Then you will not have seen this. Concert of Tragedy, the prosecutor's deadly song. Oh, is that a new show? I haven't heard about that one. It's not a show. It's an article. News, you know. Oh, does this have to do with the case? Does this have anything to do with the case? Since getting back from the trial, my phone's been ringing off the hook. How does it feel to take a man's life of a song? Have you ever hummed a, 
Humdaman all the way to death row. Do you think you can sing for me over the phone? It is endless. Endless! Thanks to the kiss you made today, of course. Oh! That was all Paul's idea! Hey! Hmm? Is that the new Super Robot R2? Ah, yes. The Bulgarian Daily Boogle. Go ahead, take a look. Um, thanks. I can't read Borgonese. Borgarian. Oh, that's right. Suffice to say... Sorry, suffice it to say that this new... Sorry, this is big news over there as well. Though they didn't go so far as to mention the lyrics to my song. Probably not one in Bulgarian could believe. It's probably seen as just a theory at this point. The journalists didn't see the need to mention it. That makes sense. I hardly know what to think of it myself. Bulgarian news people add to the court record. Article about the case, it doesn't mention links of the Lamiar theory. Lamiar's testimony will probably be in the evening's edition, I imagine. Which is why I had Deran stop down from the investigation for nine. Yeah, we ran to a moping in front of the Coliseum. Lamiar was my invited guest, so it is a rather delicate situation. You understand how much I want to solve this case quickly, if possible. I really love that song. It has such a grip atmosphere to it. You co it with Lamiar, if I remember correctly. That's right. It was last year. I had gone on tour. Sorry, I had gone to tour Bulgarian's legal system, as a matter of fact. And that's when you heard Lamiar's voice? It was at a small jazz club. I wept that night. I knew I had to meet her. To talk to her with her. So I used my influence, which it which was not inconsiderable, to arrange a meeting. Wow, prosecutions really have a lot of clout. I think he's sort of a special case, Juicy. Thankfully, she liked the work I did, and we wrote a song right there, backstage. Matsu on piano, the do, the red voice, a do red voice. Myself on a guitar that I borrowed from Lamiar. Uh, music history was made. Probably not an, ex an experience your average lawyer would even have. Like Apollo, say. It is a memory I hold dear. And the song we wrote that night was this. And the fairy guitar is right over there. You mean the charred lump? That's charred lump? Don't call it a lump! That's a piece of history! Adam is only brewing. Not charred. Not, not no matter. I shall never sing that song again. I wouldn't have used that guitar again either, even if I could have. What happened during that song anyway? Why does the guitar suddenly catch on fire? Do you think you could show it to us? Your char, I mean, slightly burnt guitar. I'm sure he doesn't mind. What more could happen to it? I'm going to. My apologies, but there's no way. Want to get my attention? Bring me something dramatic. I'm here to get your attention, Galvin. I'm here to get your information. Oh. Oh. Uh. That looks like one of our tour issued headsets. Why are you wearing it fondly on, Lynn? I thought it'd be cool. I could pretend I was this concert security and stuff. Actually, we found it at the venue and thought you might want it. Oh no, please, you keep it. It goes well with your kit, fondly on, Lynn. Do you, you think? She does look like she belongs on, on the stage, that's for sure. Okay. 
A guitar serenade, might I ask? Did you enjoy it? It was a lovely song! I got all teary-eyed! Ah yes, the cursed song that turned a concert into a tragedy, wasn't it? I was singing it for you, Frau Leon. Then... Whoa, th that's so special! It was Lamy R singing, actually. I'm glad you were moved. It is that kind of song. Ugh. I ran out of snide comments. This that was an impressive piece of power techniques. That's a, that was an impressive bit of power techniques that did this. That's a guitar from the concert, isn't it? I thought it was. I thought it was one of the staff landing agami. I never guessed that wasn't the end of it. I never guessed that wasn't the end of it. I have specialist analytic guitar, incidentally. Oh, did you find anything out? He didn't le have a lot of time, so it's still unclear. But the results he came up with were intriguing. Intriguing? How does that guitar tie into everything that went on? Sounds like something we should ask about. What's that on the plate there? Is that gum? Gum? Maybe he was chewing it when his phone rang. Then he put it on the pl for litter consumption. You think a rock star would afford a fresh stick? Don't jump to any conclusions, Nine. Nah. That's no chewing gum. Take a closer look. Although I really shouldn't be offering, should I? What is that? It looks like a lump of plastic. Wait. That phone call. Yeah, that's why I'm asking. What is this creepy thing? Object, whatever. Looks like the pro looks like a plastic goblin's on the is on the phone. What? A replica? So why was he after in the first place? Yeah, the truce. Oscar Galvin. Does this have something to do with Mr. Latrice? Wait a second. You were listening to my phone call, weren't you? Hey, us? I tried to stop him, really, but he forced me to. Hey, you were the one digging for a scandal, Mr. Porter. Tell you the truth, the truth, I'm not even sure what it is. But apparently, it's a model of something an undercover agent in Mr. Truce was after. This slump? Would you mind telling us what you know about it? What you do know about it? What's wrong, Apollo? You look confused. I was just wondering where the, the work chair in this office was. You're looking at my favorite chair right now. That's a massage chair, isn't it? That's just an enormous adjustable... Well, I'm oh, sorry, that's just an enormous adjustable... This... I love the ones where the vibrator rollers on your back. Those feel great! I said something wrong. No, I merely realized the fertility of my of an explanation. <laughs> Look at all those gu the guitars. Why so many? You can never have too many guitars. They're all like my lovers. I didn't just hear him say that. They're backup guitars at Apollo. Don't you know anything? Rock and rollers always smash guitars at the end of the show. Oh, sure. It's no wonder it's so hard to make it as a musician. You know what? You should try rocking a little Apollo. I'm breaking his guitar while he's watching. My watches? That might be a little too rocking. <laughs> of course. I would never do such a thing. But I not say, they're all, they're all like my lovers. So I do, do I seem like the kind of man who would do such a thing to the one I... One he love to the ones he loves. Oh no, not at all. I mean, you're Mr. Gavin, upstanding prosecutor. What happened to Prosecutor Gavin, God of Rock? Here's a silver range, huh? I sit here gazing down upon the city, writing my songs. Try working on like he 
It is the same thing. I write lyrics the same way I collaborate evidence. It is a harmony between the logic mind and the primal spear within. Is it so hard to admit that you like staring out your window and daydreaming? Wow, look at that stereo! To me, a life of music is inconceivable. I never turn down the volume, even when I'm working on a kiss. That's such a huge speaker! It must be really loud! This room is completely soundproof, of course. Really? I know a place I can hear when the neighbors turn their VCR on to record something. Maybe you can get Mr. Wright to talk to them. Work something out. And Lily, we've been getting complaints about Ap Apollo's voice training. Maybe I'll go have a word with Mr. Wright too. This display shows all the evidence for the kiss. Look, Apollo! He's got free televisions! Hey, don't look so... Don't look at those too closely. I'm still sorting out the details. Each monitor shows evidence for a different kiss. He does them all at once? I wish I had free TVs. What would you possibly do with free television sets? I may look laid back and relaxed, but really, I'm quite busy, you know. I'm living life at terrible speed. Doing magic, doing going to school, investigating kisses. But, but if I had free big TVs, I could watch a magic video, do my homework, and catch a crime drama all at once. The first two seems useful, I suppose. But, right. it was a beautiful instrument. It was played lovely, lovingly for many years. A guitar befitting a woman like Lamiar. How did it end up here? She gave it to me. I mentioned how much I enjoyed playing it that night, and she made a present of it. Since so, this, so this guitar is from Bulgaria, on Bulgaria, Kina. All right, that it is. We couldn't carry it on the plane. Changes in air pressure and humidity ruined the wood. So we vacuum packed it in Lamiar Studio. I use a special shipping service available to me for transporting evidence. They brought it up they brought it right up to my office for me. Pristine and untouch. See? Prosecutors do have a lot of clout. Um I still think he's a special case. Such a valuable guitar. It's too bad I got burnt. Prosecutor Gavin's guitar out of the core record. A gift from Lamiar sent from Bugana. Burnt the night of the concert. What was it you were saying? Sorry, what was it that you were saying earlier? Something about intriguing results from ex an examination of the guitar? That's right! What was it all about? You should examine the guitar. There's light. There's lightly scorched, and then there's this. It's burnt clean through! Yep, it's pretty much a useless piece of junk. Kind of like you after a trial, Apollo. Which part? The burnt clean through or the useless piece of junk? Huh. Well, you know. Okay. The results is right. Absolutely right. There's a. Oh yeah. Well, you know how guitars have a round hole in the front? It's called the sound hole. Ah, so that's what it's called. Well, they found something attached to the wood that's inside the hole. A broken device of some sort. A broken device? Yes, this in fact. An examiner is busy with evidence for the case now, however. So he'll be checking this out once he finishes with everything. Once he's finished with everything else. Hmm. Odd. That device looks strangely familiar. This was in Mr. Lotus's bag. It's apparently a replica of something. A replica? 
small lump. It's a small lump, but an inch and a half long. We analyze it, but there's not much to say, other than it's a lump of plastic. Perhaps it was to be used in the identification of whatever it's a replica of. You mean whatever Mr. Latouche is after? That seems to be the most logical explanation. Well, well, what is it? Don't ask me, Fran Leon. Then. Oh, if you don't want to tell us, you could just say so. I put in a request to Interpol via my contacts in Pogena. But apparently, there's a block on information somewhere along the chain. Oh? There's something Inter Interpol or Pogena doesn't want to share. Something about this little piece of plastic. I sort of went through all the trouble to become Lamarillard's manager. Just to come to this country to find out a bit more about this... Bump? He died for it. Replica out of the court records. Replica of something held by Mr. Latouche. Apparently, the focus of his investigation. I've sent some of the calls to him to fetch Lamarillard. Perhaps she knows something about it, being a Bulgarian. Sample, huh? Think they put a big enough label on? Maybe it's to keep people from eating it by mistake. Yeah, they might think it was an, an otherwise TSC multicolored lot of plastic. Maybe it's the malfunctioner. Simple toys when you can't afford the real thing. Then take a company Mr. Wright would like. Okay, I think we need to present him something. It has to be one of these. What is it, Apollo? That the face that was found in your guitar? Take a look at this. Why? That looks like the same thing. What is it? It's an igniter. Another one? It was at the crime scene. In La Mirar's dressing room. Detective Sky found it, actually. At the scene of the crime? What does that mean, I wonder? I believe that covers everything I'm at liberty to talk to you about. Oh. Thanks for dropping by, Head or Forehead. Thanks. Why, you give me so much information? That igniter, for instance? Oh, that? I've never met an attorney so far coming with the prosecution. It's a big hell. Or perhaps you're just a tad naive, hmm? I guess I could have hit it. But somehow, shouldn't have felt like the right thing. I could say the same to you, Prosecutor Gavin. Thanks for the information. About the, uh, strange lump of plastic. The one that Mr. Toos was investigating. Hey, that's right! I've been thinking, head or forehead. We encounter many incidents in our lives. All of us, not all of the damn simple. Especially not the ones where people are trying, are killing to the song lyrics. That is why I try to at least remember, remain simple inside. And I keep a simple goal. To, to discover the truth. That's why I like to keep real... Re relations civil, yeah? Ah, don't know why I'm pretty That is all. I can live with that. Um, Mr. Prosecutor? Ronlin, can I ask you why you sing in a bond? Ah, because I want women to turn like when I walk down the street. That's pretty simple too. Now if you excuse me, I've got work to do. Another time perhaps? Let's go back to the detention center. June, July 9th, if the detention center visitors room. It looks like Machi isn't questioning. Huh? The police must have saw a Bulgarian interpreter. That's not fair. Which I, we could have talked to. I guess we'll just have to come back later if we want to see him. I guess so. Hmm. Let's go back to Sunshine Coliseum. 
July 9th, Sunshine Coliseum. Oh, it's you! You came at a good time. Hello there, Anna. What's up? Any of you know where La Mariara is? Um, well, I saw her in the backstage hallway a while ago. Yeah, that's strange. What's strange? I can't find her anywhere. I was supposed to bring her to the prosecutor's office. Oh, and we are missing? It's hard to imagine her wandering off somewhere on her own. Being that she's blind and all. Yeah, we'll help you looking for her. Great, thanks! Let's just head straight in. Line 9, back to this hallway. This place is deserted. I wonder where Lamiar went off to. I'm sure she's okay on her own. She seems resourceful. I guess. But I can't help worry about her a little. Let's check the stage. July 9th, 4, 46 p.m. in the wings. Huh? The stage is pitch dark! The power breaker must be off for this action. Great. I'll go get someone! Yikes! It was really dark out there. Dark? That's all Lamiara Lamir has, when you think about it. Why would it be like sorry, what would it be like to live in a world of darkness? Hey Apollo! Huh? What? Does something about the stage seem different to you? Like something's changed? Changed? Hey! The guitar case is closed. I can't put my finger on it, but it's bugging me. Nah, it's bugging me too. What's she talking about? Hey, that case! Wasn't it open wasn't that open before? Huh? I guess someone closed it. Wait! Look! Where the case closed! Something's sticking out! That doesn't look like an instrument. You don't think it's... Let's open it, Apollo! Yay! Let me on! Let me on! Emma! We have to get Emma! Let me is taken directly to the hospital. Emma ran around, barking orders, making phone calls. Trissy was clung to my arm and cried. Trissy just clung to my arm and cried. And me? I was still in shock. Two bodies and two deaths is too, too many. By 9th, 5.33 p.m., take to a clinic, waiting room. Emma, how's long we are? Is she okay? Ah, you. We all owe you big thanks, that's for sure. So, she's okay? Yes, she came to a short while ago. You found her just before it was too late. That's good to hear. So what happened? Someone attacked her. She was struck on the forehead. By who? We don't know. But they hit her on the forehead, right? That's right in front of her. How could she not see? Oh! Right. Would you like to see her now? Is that alright? She wants to thank you for saving her life. Let me on! Ah, uh, Mr. Attorney, you were the one who found me. Thank you from the ball of my heart. I'm just glad you're okay. Tell me, what happened? It was after I spoke with you in front of the dressing room. I sensed someone approaching. I thought it might be someone coming to see me, but they said nothing. Okay, when I went to return to my dressing room, you were hit? I knew. From that very moment, I knew the assailant was trying to kill me. No. It was lucky for me the first blow did not knock me out. I turned and ran for the stage. Someone was chasing me. I could hear footsteps. Yeah, I reached the stage first. Why the stage? 
I had overheard maintenance people talking. Part of the stage area was off, they said. For electronic logical work. Ah! Darkness is my ally. There was a contrabass kiss near the stage. That's where I hid. So the assailant couldn't see you? Once in the kiss, I'm afraid I passed out. Wow, sounds like a real close call. Like a really close call, sorry. Do you have an idea who, who it might have been? Unfortunately, no. Whoever it was, they said not a word. Too bad. Yet, when I considered that I was struck high in the forehead, I must conclude that whoever hit me was taller than I am. Good point. She's sharp. And you're much taller than I am. You're about as tall as Apollo. You're but you're about as tall as Apollo. Almost ah, about as, as tall as Apollo. Yeah. So that means it was likely an adult, and probably a man. Could it be him? But why would anyone attack you, Lamiar? The detective asked me this too. And to her, I give the same answer I gave you. I do not know. Hmm. Maybe she might know something about this. Ah, Lamir, I wanted to ask you about this. Do you know what this is? This... This is what? Mr. Zeus was carrying it. It's a replica of the thing he was after. He was after? You know, in his secret identity? As an undercover agent? So that's what he was doing. You mean... You know what? Yes, I know. Of course. That must be. A Bulgarian cocoon. Or rather, a convincing replica thereof. Why haven't I heard of a Bulgarian cocoon before? Why would he be carrying this around? Was it some kind of souvenir? I wonder. Well, they call it Bulgarian. It must only be found in Bulgaria. For certainly all in Bulgaria know of these. It's a cocoon! So, do you get silk from it? I do not know the details, I'm sorry to say. But she said all in Bulgaria knew of these. There is one fact I do know about the cocoon though. Something all in Bulgaria know. What's that? The cocoon. They are not to be taken out of the country. If someone does, and is caught, they will be put to death. To death? Why? I do not know. Yet, if Interpol was involved, I'm sure there is a good reason. But this is just a piece of plastic! He was carrying a replica. They were looking for the real deal. That's my best guess. So, that's what he was up to. Tracking down a Bulgarian cocoon smuggling. Smuggling? It seems I was marked. Marked? Life changing for me with the popularity of my songs. I began to travel around the world. Ah, so you could have brought those Bulgarian cocoons with you. On my trips, yes. That was probably the suspicion. And Mr. Latouche was placed as an undercover agent to look into it. Bulgarian is a small, shattered country. Not many other people venture into the world outside. Is that why they suspected you? But Mr. Latouche wasn't a Bulgarian, was he? He was an Interpol agent, which means... What, Apollo? There must be some reason why Bulgarians don't want these co those cocoons getting out. Something scary enough to get Enderpearl evolved. Huh? Like what? How could such a tiny bull of Fred cause such a commotion? Queen smuggling. Mr. Toots had Lamayar marked. Hmm. It couldn't be her. Huh? There's one other person I need to talk to. Thank you for talking to us, Lamayar. It's the, it was the least I can do. Actually, I have another request. If it is within my power. 
I need an interpreter. Someone who speaks Bulgarian. Hello? Would you come with us if you're well enough? I see. Yes. Yes, of course. I shall accompany you. Huh? Where are we going? Come on, Trucy. We're about to get to the bottom of this. July 9th Detention Center. Visitor's Room. Machi, we came to talk to you about the kiss. Machi? Did you interpret it for us, Lamriar? Yes. Machi, I'd like to talk to you about when we first met. When we still thought you were blind. Now we know the truth. You can see, right? I was completely fooled myself! Machi, isn't there another secret you're hiding from us? Wait, Mr. Attorney! What do you mean by secret? What do I mean by secret? Well... If I'm not mistaken, you know something about this, don't you? Hey, you got a reaction! A big one! Machi, you didn't. Tracy and I are trained to see people's uncertainty. Not that we would have needed any training to see death, that one. Mr. Attorney, please tell me. Please tell me what this is about. Lamar, Lamar, please, interpret it. Very well. I know you knew something about this by your reaction. If you won't tell me, I might have to give it. it uh, might have to give it to the prosecution. And have them look into it. He asked you to wait. Don't be so. Do not be so hasty. Machi. Do you know everything? Yes, everything. Well, sort of. Have him tell us about it! Very well. What is this cocoon anyway? The cocoon is silk. Cocoon the silk is a potent cure. A cure? It must cure some disease. It's a cure for Incurus. Incurtis. A cure for Incurtis? Replica updated the core record. A replica of a cocoon. Dreaming for Incurus. Maybe extracted. But if it's a cure, why keep the book here? Why keep it in? Hey Mars, how you doing? Hope you're having a good day. Why keep it in beginning like that? Just think of all the lives I could see it by sharing the medicine. I do not understand the reasons myself. Okay, well, at least we know what it is. A cure. I'm sort of who was after cocoon smuggling. Smugglers. Wait, was Machi? Machi, you weren't... He couldn't be a smuggler. He's so little. Well, you're only 15. And you're sort of a magician, aren't you? I hope I'm good day, Mars. Well, that's true. I am sort of a magician. She says sort of. Oh. You have a copy of that security camera tape. Well, Machi? I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. Machi, are you a smuggler? Oh, just on the conversation. He won't tell me. Uh, we're probably going to finish off the investigation, uh, investigation party and we're going to wrap up, so. First he plays blind, now he plays dumb. <laughs> I wonder. Hmm. Oh. Do you think he bought a cocoon here to sell to someone? Yeah. I...
Oh, right. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Machi really did bring one into the country. Was he planning on making a deal for sale? Okay. Oh, no worries, Mars. I, I remember... I'm remembering a lot of stuff, so I should be fine. Like I said, we're going to be wrapping up after this part, so... I can't go home. So we'll probably be finishing this Monday up, this episode Monday. Although I think the only one I haven't did, out of the trilogy here I haven't did is time travel, but that's... I don't know when we get to that one. I can't go home? I can't go home to Bulgaria. I do not want to go home. The penalty for taking a cocoon from Bulgaria is death. That's right! It's punishable by death. About the kiss. What about the kiss? He wants to tell us about Mr. Lutus's, Lutus's death? This minion is over. It's Aaron. Aaron? What do you mean? Fisting R's aren't over yet. There's a call from Machi from the Bulgarian Embassy. Oh. This meeting is over. Sorry. Just give us five more minutes. We can call them back after that. Sorry, no go. Come on, piano boy. We're leaving. <laughs> uh like I said, I don't want to spoil things for people, that's why I... I'm... But yeah... I'm going, to, I'm going to enjoy it when we get to the breakdown. You're on wait! I never liked you. Either of you. Huh? Darn it! We were so close! He was about to tell us! Hey, Apollo! He didn't want us to hear what Maji had to say. Apollo! And there can only be one reason why. Why is everyone ignoring me? Her, Trucy. Oh, sorry. This is it. I know who I'm after now. It all happens tomorrow. In court. But yeah, as much as I want to continue this and get to the end, I'm going to have to wrap up here because I have to... Uh, Get things prepped up and stuff for myself later, later. So I'm, I'm gonna be in the book basically soon. So we'll pick this up Monday. So with that being said, though, hope you have, I hope you have a great day, great week, and stuff like that. Uh, should we have normal discussion and stuff from this point? But yeah, and I'll be it. I'll, cause yeah, once we should be once turn tomorrow, I'll be well. Then Friday, I'll figure something out. Saturday, Kenny, March, and all that stuff. But yeah, I'll wrap it up here. So I hope it's a good day, it's Greek, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.